Hi, in this video we're going to take a bunch of crystals ranging from a 4 MHz crystal up to a 22 MHz crystal and we're going to make them do their thing which is oscillate like this and we're going to do it using a circuit called a Pierce Gate Crystal Oscillator which basically looks a bit like this and we're going to do it without having to read all of this theory and notes so if that's interesting to you stick around and we'll get started Okay, let's talk parts. What do we need? Obviously we need the crystals. What are the other major components? We're going to need power. That's what this is. All it does is pump out 5 volts into the breadboard. We're going to need a logic gate that's going to drive things and this is a SN 74 hc 4 I got it in a kit of 74 series logic parts. Um, lots of fun with them. This is the data sheet. As you can see, it's got, actually it's got six inverters on it. We only are using one of them, which is the one I've marked in yellow. Everything else, I've got the inputs tied to ground, and we've got VCC coming in. So that's where you can see these extra lines going to ground for the other logic gates. We're just using the top right one. The other things we're going to need, we're going to need a couple of capacitors. The values of these might change depending on the crystal we're using. And we're going to need a couple of resistors, which is what these are. They're just variable resistors where you can pick what value you want to have without having to pull in and out of the breadboard the whole time. And that is really all of the stuff you need. Okay, let's draw up the circuit. So we have, we have ground, and then one of the capacitors. Then that goes up and across to the crystal. And then we go down to another capacitor and back to ground. And on my circuit, that's basically, uh, here's the two caps. They both go under the ground rail and these yellow wires are running off to the crystal. I just found it was easier to plug it there, but it, it is sitting in the middle like this. Next we have our inverter and it sits up here. And one end of it runs just to one side of the crystal. The other end runs through a resistor and back to the other side of the crystal. And we're gonna call this resistor RS. And then lastly, there's one other resistor, it's up here running across the top giving a bit of feedback and we're going to call that RF and then obviously there's the power for the inverter chip and the ground for the inverter chip and that's the circuit on my breadboard this is the inverter and these two items here, they're the two resistors and they were wired back into those spots that I was talking about here and here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it all together, I'm gonna check it on the oscilloscope and everything's gonna work great. And then I'll take out that crystal and I'll pick another one, the different value, and I'm gonna put that in the breadboard in the same spot. And if I'm lucky, everything will still work and we'll just get a, a waveform with a different frequency but I'm pretty certain that eventually I'm going to put in a crystal and we're going to get something that really just doesn't work properly at all so then I'm going to mess around with values of all the components until we get it nice and clean again I'm going to take some notes for that and then I'll publish them at the end of the video and I'm not going to waste your time watching me do all of the changes and taking the notes we'll just publish at the end as promised, here is the PDF. It's on my GitHub page for Overengineered in Oz. You can look at this cheat sheet PDF and it's got all of the results from the testing. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.